live downtown with what the city's doing to bring peace to the neighborhoods. Steve? Stacia, the city's already allocated about a million and a half dollars for anti-violence programs to stop this surge in shootings and killings, especially the crime involving young adults. I talked with an anti-violence group today to find out if the investment started to pay off. Nothing like freedom. Nothing like freedom. These teens and young adults getting a real-life lesson about gang life from an ex-member. During this video chat with one of the founding fathers of the Crips gang based in L.A. You're trying to change your life. It's going to be hard coming out of the streets. Community group end the violence among several programs and organizations this year being funded by the city to work with at-risk kids in danger of heading down the wrong path during a time where there's been a surge in violence involving juveniles. We just need to put the guns down and like if you see somebody, you know, who got a gun, you know, tell them just to put it away. Sean Stevenson hoping kids hear his story of serving time behind bars for drug crimes and learn to make better choices. When you tell them your story, they're listening. Oh, Try to get the message. Oh, most definitely. You know, I think it's imperative that they hear from people who've been through it so they know the effect that it has not on just them, but their family members, their siblings. And the violence received a $500,000 grant from City Hall this year to mentor and hire teens and young adults this summer. The participants learning new skills and being paid 15 bucks an hour to clean up neighborhoods, now seeing a jump in violent crime. It's around us. We're not trying to fall into it, but it's around us, so we can't just shake it like that. Daquan Thompson has lost family and friends to gun violence. It hurt. It hurt. And the violence also inviting community leaders to meet with the youth to teach them new skills. Today, the group getting their questions answered from two Franklin County Municipal Court judges about the legal system. They point out that they let me know they're hurting. They're in pain. They want to see something different. They want to do different.